I would say for the art of it because it is so complex I have never encountered such smell before and it was strong very strong and then it transforms transforms it becomes playful and over the dry down it becomes heavenly my name is red and i'm from canada and this is my channel let's do this there are fragrances that i have discovered that are really playful and that is just for the art of it you may like it you may not like it you can disgust the people around you this perfume that i would uh, share for you today a certain perfumer by the name of marc antoine barois with his perfume ganymede and ganymede as we know is i think it is the largest moon in the planet jupiter paris corner emir has created a certain uh, perfume stunning bottle of celestial okay when i tried it on my skin actually i'm gonna try it now and i will tell you what my impression is okay this upon initial spray of aside from the alcohol is it's like the smell of the ocean or the smell of of a swimming pool with white flowers and ammonia it's weird right and the fruits here is very faint and then there's smell of kind of like as what's, what's, what's stated in the Ganymede's uh, set of notes is mineral accord or mineral notes. Now, I haven't had the chance to smell anything with mineral notes, but the way I can smell this is there's sourness and there's some uh, slight metallic note and also there's some aquatic uh, aquatic touch into this along with the florals. And also, I noticed that there is some medicinal uh, accord. You know, the certain kind of medicinal approach that I was able to smell from Baccarat Rouge 540. But there's no brown sugar or there's no kind of like a sugar cane on this one. It's just the certain um, hospital smell, just a little bit. That reminds me of Baccarat Rouge 540 at the initial stage. And then it reminds me also of, of gasoline. So this for me is an art. This fragrance for me is very playful. See, it was really interesting because the notes are, the impressions to me are getting like, uh, they tend to be different every now and then. So I th at first there was the ocean smelling with ammonia because of the sourness. And then there's the smell of the white flowers. And then there's the smell of the medicinal uh, thing. If there's orange, it's just very minimal. So a, a very fruity, uh, soft tone into it. I can say that this fragrance is kind of like a combination of the old school and because of its um, violet leaf and, and saffron, the spices, it also aside from, you know, when you ordered pizza, you can order half, half of two different flavors. This is what I feel like half of this is part of the old world the old school of fragrance uh, perfumery while the other half tends to become the modern ones so it's very interesting because it reminds me of the white flowers back in the 80s a little soapiness some people probably find this without soapiness but i do many perfumes i tried on my skin turns to be quite powdery but but as of now, I don't sense any any powdery note or powdery impression in my skin. Now, okay, so do I like this one? First, a warning. 
if you overspray this um, celestial from Paris Corner Emir, it can tend to be headache inducing because of the watery notes and at the same time combination of white florals and then uh, some other woods and spices and the violet leaf. A so couple of sprays I think or maximum of three would be good enough. Uh, how's the performance of this? The performance on the first 30 minutes first 30 minutes has a very strong projection and then after that the longevity lasted for like um, six hours I think six hours to seven hours on my skin what I learned is that you would experience the mid notes of uh, the fragrance when it lasted already for like uh, 15 to 20 minutes so the dry down of this for me is very much appealing all those white florals all those um, um, kind of like uh, strong oceanic um, mineral metallic feel all those like um, they they pulled back they pulled back and, and they changed into a very pleasant um, woody spicy aroma that I would say it can get you compliments as I got compliments on this a couple of hours after wearing it nothing to uh, exceptional with the with the uh, with the compliment it's just a simple you smell very good but there's always this you smell different it's it's quite unique but in the end you smell very good now what is the best time to use this one I wouldn't recommend you guys to use this at work I wouldn't recommend this for indoor activity I wouldn't recommend this I wouldn't recommend this for casual um, I think I would just recommend this one on maybe on a date or if you have a casual activity on the outdoor because if you overspray this and you're just inside an activity indoors like weddings and stuff but you're inside the room if you overspray this this can induce headaches to people around you it's interesting that I was uh, telling you the topic about the the art side and the complexities of fragrances and this along with the other niche perfumes that i have tried this is one of those middle eastern fragrances in my own um, personal opinion and experience this is one of those that is more on the art side and more complex so you would either like it or you would either hate it okay so would i recommend this um to any age uh to my own nose experience i think this is more for people above 30 years old um, men and women can try this one can can wear this one but this is not youthful like the age bracket should be like 30 years old and above okay so guys this emir celestial from the house of paris corner if you're looking for something that is more on the art side but with a lovely dry down but you have the patience to to forbear the top or the middle get this one but if you are more on like used to wearing um fresh clean sweet um some light florals i don't think you would appreciate this because of its metallic aspect because of this uh, medicinal aspect that i have observed because of the different performance of violet leaf and saffron and i don't smell leather on this one i don't smell apple and all i can smell on this one is the beautiful art of perfumery oceanic mineral notes going to a little medicinal like a baccarat rouge 540 then a mix of different flowers then kind of like a uh, an adventure of the old perfumery mixed with the modern perfumery and by the dry down is a lovely woody spicy concoction that is really very complimenting so thank you so much for tuning into my channel please if you have enjoyed my uh, thoughts on on uh, celestial by emir paris corner please um at the lower right hand portion of your full screen you would see my subscribe button this is my youtube channel let's do this cheers